dear students in the previous two lectures uh, we have discussed about introduction of matrices and uh, introduction of second order determinant so i am going to solve some more uh, problems today here so how determinant of second order determinant of second order can be evaluated and later on we'll go for evaluating determinant of third order also third order determinant also we are going to evaluate now so today i'll give one more example for second order determinants suppose here if a is equal to minus 1 Minus three, minus four, minus five. Find determinant of a that is two by two order. Find the determinant of a. The study itself I have given you, or this can be written as delta a or delta a. But here, to find out determinant of a, to find out determinant of a, so determinant of Write elements of a matrix minus one, minus three, minus four, and minus five. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about how to find out how to evaluate determinant of second order. So here, first we have to multiply these two. That is minus one into minus five. as soon as you complete this first set of multiplication put minus sign and go for remaining things so i am going to change the color for this so remaining diagonal is minus 4 into minus 3 primary diagonal product minus secondary diagonal product so this will become 5 minus 12 therefore it is equal to minus 7 so determinant of a is equal to minus 7 this since the determinant is not equal to 0 therefore a is called this a matrix given matrix is called a is non singular matrix it is known as non singular matrix now <coughs> yesterday itself we have discussed about it sometimes determinant of any matrix is 0 then that is called singular matrix singular matrix so now it's all for any order it is the order may be it is a 2 by 2 order 3 by 3 order or 4 by 4 order so dear students to evaluate determinant of second order matrix to evaluate determinant of second order matrix product of principal diagonal elements minus product of secondary diagonal elements but here <clears throat> still if at all you want we can uh, take one more example here so here determinant of second order we are going to take one more example how the evaluation of second order determinant can be calculated so here once again my dear students now look here so if a is equal to if a is equal to minus 3 minus 4 2 5 5 5 5 so i am going to use only one single find determinant of a so in the previous class i have told you determinant usually we represented in modulus symbol matrix all matrix will be all elements must be enclosed in square bracket so determinant of a is equal to you write determinant of a minus 3 minus 4 2 and minus 5 so second order means first we have to multiply these two minus 3 into minus 5 minus 3 into minus 
So as soon as you complete this, put minus sign, then go for the product of secondary diagonal elements. That is two into minus four. 15 plus eight, so that is equal to determinant is equal to 15 plus eight, that is 23. So therefore determinant of A is equal to 23. It is not equal to zero. Therefore, this matrix is known as non-singular matrix. It is called non-singular, non-singular matrix. So once again, I'm going to give the definition. A square matrix A, a square matrix A is said to be singular matrix if its determinant is equal to zero. Non-singular matrix means its determinant is equal to, its determinant is not equal to zero. Suppose again, I'm going to take one more example here. Suppose if B is equal to, look at here, one into six, minus two and minus three. This is the determinant of B matrix. Find determinant of B matrix. So here, the determinant of B matrix is like this here determinant of b so we have to find determinant of b matrix so write the determinant of b matrix is 1 minus 3 minus 2 and 6 so therefore first 1 into 6 simple like a cross multiplication and minus and minus 2 minus 2 into minus 3 so therefore, 6 minus 2, 3 is a 6. So determinant is equal to 0. Definitely, this B matrix is known as singular, non-singular, sorry, singular matrix. So therefore, B is known as, B is known as singular matrix. It is known as singular matrix. So very simple. So here this is a non-singular. Here A is non-singular here. A is non-singular matrix. Non-singular matrix. Because its determinant is not equal to zero. Here B matrix determinant is equal to therefore B matrix determinant is zero. Therefore B is known as singular matrix. So here whenever the matrix is singular, in future, its inverse does not exist. Better remember this, does not exist. A is non-singular matrix, therefore A inverse exists. So very simple. If a matrix is non-singular, we can find out its uh, inverse. We can find out its inverse. If it is singular matrix, we cannot find out its inverse. So this is one simple example. Now, here afterwards, my dear students, so name of the matrix, I'm not going to give. So directly, determinant of some matrix elements directly will be calculating some small basic examples I'll give so that how we can find out determinants of second order matrix or two by two order matrix. So in this case, Look at here. Before going to study third order, first you complete second order, very simple. Later on, we'll go for question paper examples also. Look at here. <clears throat> so dear students, now I'll take directly, suppose uh, here, determinant of, determinant of some matrix elements are uh, like sine theta, cos theta, minus cos theta, and sine theta. See, this is not matrix. I have put a modulus symbol here. So determinant of, there's some matrix, name and all not necessary. So directly we can write here, sine theta into sine theta. First, product of principal diagonal, put minus sign. Then minus cos theta into cos theta. 
so this will become sin square theta plus cos square theta therefore sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so determinant of some matrix elements determinant of some matrix is equal to 1 here therefore it is whatever matrix is given that matrix is known as non singular matrix why because non singular means if the determinant is not equal to 0 it is called non singular if the determinant is equal to 0 it is called singular so we can take some more examples like determinant of some uh, different example 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so directly 4 into minus 3 we can take 4 into minus 3 minus and again minus 2 into minus 1 so therefore minus 12 i think minus 2 therefore it is minus 14 so determinant of here once again uh, we go for one more example here so determinant of first you will be so here you see in the determinant of look here determinant of 1 by 2 minus 3 minus 1 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 so this is symbol is modulus symbol i've given so this is the determinant we are taking so here yeah look here so determinant here so this can be calculated first upper limit is uh, principal diagonal elements product of principal diagonal elements 1 by 2 into minus 5 by 2 as soon as you complete so put minus sign put minus sign and then go for product of other elements so these two we have to multiply that is equal to minus 1 by 2 into minus 3 so this will become minus 5 by 4 and uh, minus 3 by 2 take out lcm the lcm is 4 minus 5 minus 6 therefore minus 11 by 4 is the determinant of some matrix so this is the evaluation of second order matrix determinant is product of principal diagonal elements minus product of secondary diagonal elements is known as value of second order determinant so my dear students once again i'm going to repeat this to find out determinant of second order matrix or two by two order matrix is simply take the difference of product of principal diagonal elements and product of secondary diagonal elements as we know that this is known as this is here this is ad is known as this is called principal diagonal or leading diagonal or simply diagonal and cd this is going to be called as secondary diagonal secondary diagonal it is so dear students so second order determinant is very simple later on we'll go for it so after that second order determinant some of the important properties of second order determinant are it will be applicable for yes look at here so you try to understand these are the two important properties i'm going to give you Here, number one, pro first property, property, determinant of AB is always equal to determinant of A into determinant of B, where A and B, A and B are of square matrices, square matrices of same order of same order so determinant of a 
determinant of ab is equal to determinant of b so the property number 2 the property 2 is determinant of k into a is equal to k to the power of n into determinant of a where n is the order of the matrix where n is the order of the matrix n is the order of the matrix order of the matrix suppose if it is a 2 by 2 order matrix we can write n is equal to 2 if it is 3 by 3 you write n is equal to 3 and uh, if it is 2 by 2 if 2 by 2 order matrix 2 by 2 order matrix take n is equal to 2 if it is 3 by 3 order matrix take n is equal to 3 if it is 4 by 4 4 by 4 take n is equal to 4 and so on if it is n by n or m by n m by m then definitely we take n is equal to n is equal to m so these are the two important properties once again you remember it look at determinant of ab is equal to determinant of ab is equal to determinant of ab is equal to determinant of a into determinant of b where a and b are of square matrix of same order suppose if a is 3 by 3 b must be 3 by 3 if a is 4 by 4 b is also 4 by 4 and here in the property number 2 in the property number 2 determinant of k into a is equal to k times of k to the power of n into determinant of a where n is the order of the matrix and k is any scalar and k is scalar k is k is any scalar dear students here scalar means what simply a real number or you can take in the matrices and determinants anywhere scalar means anywhere scalar comes means simply you take it as considered as it is a real number it is a real number so scalar implies real number in matrices and determinants there is no need of having some uh, different example uh, so different definitions different definitions like in physics scalar is a physical quantity which has magnitude but no direction nothing like this in matrices and determinants wherever scalar comes means simply you just considered as real number so dear students now before going to start second order uh, third order matrix determinant so once again i just i'd like to review how the second order matrix determinant of second order matrix can be evaluated the determinant of second order matrix can be evaluated by taking product of principal diagonal elements minus product product of secondary diagonal elements so very simple and now it is a time for us to go for determinant of third order matrix so here determinant determinant of third order matrix third order matrix third order matrix or simply we can call it as 3 by 3 order matrix 3 by 3 order matrix so determinant of how to find out a determinant of third order matrix so very simple so very very important if you are perfect in this definitely we can do we can learn determinants very fast suppose just i'll start with the example directly if a is equal to it is a square matrix only suppose 3 minus 1 2 3 1 4 Minus one, two, and five. This is the A matrix. 
we have to find determinant of a we have to find out determinant of a but here it see to find out determinant there are here 3 by 3 order means nine elements are there third order determinant means first i'll tell you one um, example for this whenever you find out the third order determinant whenever you find, we are going to find out the value of the third order determinant value of the third order determinant is first thing is there are nine elements so each element you give one sign starting from plus minus plus minus alternate plus minus plus minus plus minus after minus plus minus plus dear students you see that the symbols should be always alternate when you start from row wise any row you start or any column any column see anywhere you go alternate on see from second column here minus plus minus or you can come like this also plus minus plus or you can come like this also plus minus plus so if you consider in row wise horizontal and vertical the signs must be always alternate anywhere you start suppose i am going to start from uh, second this this column see that it has started with minus plus minus i have started with the uh, first column like here here it is first column started with plus minus plus stop you can think top again plus minus plus see that plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus any direction left to right or right to left top to bottom bottom to top horizontal and vertical if you see any direction the signs must be alternate so here i am going to find out determinant of this one just look at this how we can find out the determinant of second order matrix third order matrix sorry dear students please try to understand first here we are going to find out determinant of a first you write the determinant determinant of a matrix so determinant of three a matrix elements minus 1 2 3 1 4 minus 1 2 and 5 so once again this step i'll write determinant of a is equal to so determinant is what determinant of 3 minus 1 and 2 3 1 4 minus 1 2 5 100 determinant here so here This is the determinant. Yeah. So here, to find out its value, we have to expand along with any row or any column, whichever row you can. So here, how many rows are there? So this is row one, R one, sec first row, second row, and third row. There are three rows, and three columns are there. So this is column one. and this is column 2 and this is column 3 so to expand the determinant of third order you can use you can choose any row or any column even though the value of the determinant remains same no need to worry about it so better first time i am going for first row only so you have decide to work on you have to expand it through first row top symbol you start plus minus and plus plus minus plus plus minus plus so it is i'm going to so i have decided to expand along i have decided to go with expanding expanding along r1 along r1 r r1 so r1 means this is i have decided that means you write first start the symbol plus minus plus so determinant of a is equal to determinant of a is equal to first row we have decided to work on first row we have decided to work on first row therefore what you do all of you see this first top symbol and number you take first row plus 3 you take and we have to write plus 3 means now i'll tell you what you have to do you have taken plus 3 right here at plus 3 you cancel horizontal row at plus 3 you cancel vertical 
then remaining you have to go for cross multiplication so remaining how will you go for cross multiplication here come on tell me now here 1 into 5 that is 5 directly i'm going to write as soon as you complete minus and again 2 into 4 2 into 4 but my dear students so here what happened what we are doing so here what you are going to do is so we are expanding along we are expanding along with r1 so that means you have to consider as look at now i've decided to take i'm decided to work on r1 row one like this you can work on any row or any column the value remains same so therefore plus three i've taken now once again now i'll show you how it will be now it will so first row look at here Here once again I'll write so the elements are 3 here it was 3 minus 1 minus 1 and 2 it was 2 and 3 that is 3 1 4 and minus 1 2 5 this is the limit. so now we are once again look here how we have we have decided to take here this is first row we have first row we are going for it Look at it. Third order determinant is always one should learn properly. My dear students, once again see that. So here we have decided to work on. Yeah. So first of plus three, we have taken three means of three horizontal get cancelled. And next we are we have to go along with first of only now. We have to go along with only first of next top symbol minus, and I have taken minus one now. So, yes, I've taken here minus one, right? At minus one, complete horizontal line, you get cancelled. And at minus one, complete vertical line get cancelled. Which are element? Top symbol is minus and this element you have selected. So, at that element, complete <coughs> horizontal, that is, row to be can, uh, deleted. And at this, vertical column also deleted. These are deleted. Now remaining are these two remaining you have to go for cross multiplication 3 into 5 that is 15 minus and after that minus 1 into for, for yes minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 it will become plus 4 and last and final here I'll write and 3 is over this is over plus 3 top minus of minus 1 I've taken plus 2 now this is last plus 2 plus 2 means at plus 2 entire horizontal get cancelled entire vertical get cancelled the remaining two will be there so these three three to the six put minus sign minus one into minus one is minus one that will become plus one finish this is simple and now this will be calculated here determinant of a is equal to so look here determinant of a is equal to so then how determinant of a is equal to this determinant of a is equal to now 3 into simplifications 3 into minus uh, sorry 5 minus 4 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 into 15 plus 4 19 and again 2 into 7 2 into 7 but here uh, 3 plus 19 plus 14 So 19 plus 1, 20, 22, 22, 22, uh, 4, 22, 4, 26 plus 10, 36. So determinant of A matrix is 36. Since the determinant is not equal to 0, therefore this matrix is known as non-singular matrix. So A is non-singular matrix. A is non-singular matrix. is non-singular matrix there and further in future 
we can find out its inverse also its inverse comes so third order determinant once again uh, um, will uh, detail will examples will go third order determinant look at here my dear students now so once again i'll go for uh, one more example i'll take once again I'll, i'll go for one more example look at here so directly i'll be going for it so straight away if you are not clear once again try to understand but here to find out the determinant of determinant of determinant of any third order matrix determinant can be evaluated or determinant can be expanded by using any row or any column the value remains same first you be perfect the standard method for third order for third order matrix usually everybody will expand the determinant along r1 only that is row 1 like you take row 2 you can expand it no change row 3 also you can take and uh, first column second column third column you take the elements along any row or column the value of the determinant remains the same no need to worry but first you be perfect in any one method first first row you expand it and damn sure see that it should be correct look at so i am going to give one more example now here so here if a is equal to a is equal to 1 2 3 Minus four, minus three, five, six, minus one, and minus two. So this is the matrix. This is the matrix. Again, we have to find out this. This is the matrix. We have to find out its. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Uncle, some other way. 